<laughs> Hello, everybody. It's a bit of a chilly day out today. I think it's about, it's in the low 40s. It's, we've got a little bit of a snow, well, I don't know if you can see it. We've got a little bit of a snow flurry out there. Which pro means probably about half of West Tennessee is, you know, burning rubber for Walmart to uh, get their blizzard supplies. I've, I've lived in this area my entire life, and I cannot figure out why people get so screwed up about the weather. I mean, it's... But anyway... Smoking my Savinelli alligator. And in it, I've got a little bit of McBaron's Dark Twist, which uh, kind of leads me into what I'm about to do now. Uh, it's been almost a month since Jay posted his... Uh, 2013 10 questions and I've been trying to get uh, you know get on my camera to answer them but just haven't really had time but uh pardon me Without further ado, my answers. Uh, what are your top four tobaccos? Well, in no particular order, uh, Orlick Golden Sliced, McBaron's Navy Flake, McBaron's Scottish Mixture, which a friend gave me for Christmas this year, and I like it quite a bit. Uh, for the fourth one, that's kind of the tough one um i wouldn't say the dark twist the dark twist is nice but it's not top four quality in my opinion uh i would probably say something like uh either frog morton on the town or like cornell and deal's bow-legged bear you know kind of Throw a throw something a little more English in there to, to kind of round everything out. Uh, a gallon of milk and a gallon of gas, where I live. Gas. I I just filled up my tank yesterday for about four dollars thirty cents, maybe. Maybe four. Not four, uh, three dollars forty cents. Excuse me. <laughs> the Tennessee gas prices haven't gotten quite that high yet. Uh, it was three sixty, but uh, I've got a Kroger card, so I get a little bit of a discount at at the uh, Kroger gas station. And milk. I want to think milk is. If it's not close to four dollars a gallon, it, it I mean if it's not over four dollars a gallon, it's close. Uh, favorite thing to put on toast? Uh, uh, honey and butter, probably. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to put on bread altogether. Although I will say a really nice thing to try on toast is honey and uh, uh, mascarpone. I think I'm saying that right. Marscapone cheese. It's a and it, it's a lightly sweet Italian cream cheese. It's fantastic. Uh, matches, lighters, zippos, etc. What do you? What's your preferred method for lighting a pipe? My preferred method for lighting a pipe is just a plain old bic lighter. Color's not important. <laughs> um, say I live in Tennessee but I don't really follow sports very much so don't really need a, a Tennessee orange lighter or anything 
Um, the reason I like Bic, for one thing, they're cheap. The butane is odorless and flavorless, although, to be honest, I've never really been able to detect any kind of flavor in Zippo lighter fluid. But uh, the main reason that I like uh, that I like Bic lighters, I don't know if there are any other any other Harry Dresden fans out there, but uh, Flickem Bicus. But uh, the Dresden Files is one of my favorite favorite book series out there. And, uh, he's a private investigator and the only professional wizard in the Yellow Pages. Uh, Let's see, at what price does a pipe gain no more than looks? Um, well, I shelled out $100 for this thing. And that was, for me, extravagant. Uh, so I would say probably beyond $100 or $150, for me, a pipe is just... It, it costs too much, in my opinion. Uh... I never thought I'd pay, I would have paid this much for one, but I had some Christmas money, so. Uh, if someone came and visited you, what food would you feed them that's the thing in your area? It, there's really no thing in this area. Um, I'd probably uh, say catfish, you know, some nice fried catfish fillets or something like that. I live uh, not too far from Real Foot Lake, and there's all kinds of... Uh, all kinds of restaurants out there and they have some fantastic fried catfish. If not that, then probably barbecue. Barbecue is another thing around here. Uh, would I rather fight a blindfolded tiger or a one-armed bear? I'd have I'd say the bear. Either one's probably gonna kill me, but I don't know. The the bear feels like I'd kind of be able to if not not necessarily put up more of a fight, but I'd feel <laughs> I don't know. To me, it just seems better to to go down to a bear anyway. Uh, what other tobacco products do you use or have tried? Um, I have tried snus. I keep making an effort to like snus, but not really. Uh, it hasn't really stuck with me, but. I haven't ordered anything that hasn't been like a, you know, the Camel brand or something like that. You know, just whatever I can get at the at a local place. Uh, th there are some out there that I would really like to try. I, I think I, I would like to give the more Swedish stuff a, a shot, especially because I hear that it's not quite as sweet. I, I don't have so much of a s sweet tooth these days as I get older. Uh, I have tried uh, uh, English Snuff. I've tried the Delacchia chocolate uh, snuff. I've tried McChrystal's uh, genuine and original, and I've got a Kindle Brown by Sam Gowith that took me a little bit to get used to, but I and I, I like it. I mean, it's one of those things I just don't use it enough to really justify buying a lot of it. But it's nice to play with every now and then, I guess. Uh, what one law would I change? It would be... I would, I would change education laws, definitely. Um, public education in our country needs much more government support, more federal support. Um, teachers are horribly underpaid. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because I'm going to be a teacher. Um, but... I think that our education system could be much much improved. Uh, and did I see it coming? Hmm. I'm gonna say no. I did not at all. <laughs> uh, not in the slightest did I see it coming. Whatever whatever it is, but no, I did not. <clears throat> but uh, anyway. Get that out of the way. I always like doing these things, but uh, I've got some homework to get to, so see y'all later and happy trails.